What's up, author folk? Johnny Andrews here, and yet again with the worst penmanship on the planet, I'm going to show you what I like to call the platform machine. And what this is, is the mechanism, the entirety of the mechanism, behind how you can build your platform 24-7, 365, uh, using essentially outsourcing and automation. So this is not you just, you know, cobbling away on things when you should be writing. Now, why do you need this? Very quickly, if you haven't uh, finished all the other videos, I'll just go over it for you. So the biggest problem right now is that there are over a million titles hitting the market literally every given year. And so the ability for an author to stand out and be recognized by an audience is very, very low. This is why there's such a high failure rate and, and so many authors struggle to sell books. And so what this process allows you to do is to rise above that using the three C's that we've been talking about. So the capture, the connect, and the convert. And I'm going to show you in this delightful drawing behind me exactly how all of that stuff works. Now, very quickly, uh, the this specific model, what we've done with this here, has allowed us to already distribute over three million subscribers uh, to authors. And then those authors go on to use them to sell more books. And so the end result, is that people buy things or page reads and downloads and that kind of stuff. There, you get it. So, let us begin, actually, right here. What exactly are we going to do? Now, the other day I talked a lot about some various uh, traffic strategies and ways to you know do the first part, which is capture. Now, my personal favorite that I have loved for a long time is what I call a perpetual giveaway. So, what you do here, you say, stuff. The landing page that you want to be driving these folks to is going to be a giveaway, not a multi-author giveaway. Remember we talked about that. Those are very, very bad now. You do not want to be doing that. Uh, the reason why is you want to focus on building your brand and your front of mind recognition with your future reader. Now these folks that are coming in here, they're not readers yet. They don't know who you are. All right, so they're probably coming for the free popcorn. I mean, let's be honest about that. That's just how things work. Well, the first part about this, if you recall the C's, this is the capture. So that's part one of everything that we're gonna do. So it's like, hey, we're doing this giveaway every you know, 90 days, and you're going to get, and what I recommend you give away are gonna be like you know, autographed paperbacks, if you have those, um, swag, if you have that, uh, you know, a couple of Amazon gift cards. Like, don't go too crazy on this. You don't really need to do a lot, but the big trick, the big hook with this is what I like to call the ew, which is the everybody wins prize. Ideally, every single person who enters this, and this is part of uh, what we're gonna get into right here, which is the connect piece, is you don't want them to feel bad. You don't want, you know, the 90 days to roll around before the thing resets and have them say, oh man, I didn't win, ah, that author wasn't any good anyway. You also want to be a little strategic and be like, I want you to consume my stuff and see if you like it so that you will eventually track down this process and buy more of my books. Case in point, really quick, this, this works on me constantly. I have found some of my favorite authors in this exact kind of environment where I was given like a, my favorite is the free prequel or like a short that kind of like buttons into a series. And when I read those and they're like mind-blowingly awesome, I will typically go out and buy everything that this author has done. I'm weird like that. So that is, but that is also not an uncommon situation to happen because when you read something you really like, you want to dive in and get more of it. And so here, what you do here is you use your automation like this, your A R R, which is my abbreviation for your autoresponder. Now, when uh, we speak to authors and, and whatnot, what we find is that those autoresponders are typically not used to be like the tools that they really are, which is they automate communication. They automate your ability to connect with a lot of folks. Instead, what they're used for are broadcasts. Well, I'll get, I'll get into in just a second what you could do with this, but they're very powerful tools. So if you have one, you're in a good place. That immediately delivers the you. Actually, the yup, which is the everybody wins prize. So whatever that is for you, it can even be like a chunk of a book if everything that you have ever done is in KU. I get it. That's fine. Now, so they've landed here. They're like, you're going to get some stuff. You're going to get your everybody wins prize. Now, they have subscribed. They have willingly and knowingly entered their name and email address. And then what happens is the TY, which is this is the thank you page, 
and they are given a little bit of a bribe, let's call it what it is, to share your stuff, you know, through social media with their friends, and they're given a little bit more of a bribe to now follow you. So remember, we're still in this whole capture section right here, but we're kind of uh, doing what's called gamification, where you you can uh, you know you can kind of turn it into a fun, happy, happy, fun time for them. It's like, wow, thank you so much for doing this. Your uh, everybody wins prize, whatever the title of the thing you're giving them is called. It's going to be in your inbox, you know, in two minutes or whatever. And uh, while you're here, if you wouldn't mind, tell some of your friends about it. We'll give you extra points. You have a better chance of winning. You know, the Mercedes that you're going to give them and stuff like that. So now we've handled the capture. So here's what's cool. Now you, they'll be following you on various point, uh, parts of social media, including, by the way, Amazon. And you want them to follow you on Amazon, not that because you can, you know, send them a fun email, but because Amazon will send them an email when uh, you publish a new book. And that's pretty cool, getting an email about you from Amazon. So now we get into the follow-up sequence. And this is the big part where a lot of folks don't know to do this. What you want to be doing here is using your autoresponder in an automated way to send them messages about what? Your back catalog. And not just buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff every single time. You also want to sprinkle in here some engagement, some, what do you call it? Connection. So now we are in the connect part. So we've captured them. They're following us on social media. Now we're going to connect with them. And you're going to stand out because remember the problem here and the reason platform is so important is if you want to have a snowball's chance of selling books, you have to have a group of people who want to buy them. You have to have the immediate ability to reach out and hit them with those, hit them with messages and things like that. Whether it's buy or, hey, I'm going to do a reading tonight. So I'm a huge fan. And like I said, you can do, you can do this in whatever works for your personality. Uh, but I would do, you know, back catalog, we'll call it back C. I'd maybe do some video. Uh, you know, I mentioned in another one, you know, you really need to stand out and stand apart in the marketplace. And so uh, my favorite is video. It really is because it's super effective. It's super awesome. It helps you just kind of, it's like, oh, that person's not bad or wow, he's really weird. But it's cool because what this does is this process right here, this connection process, this is the prospecting moment here. So this is the big missing piece in the entire publishing industry is that not 100% of the people who come through here are going to end up here. It doesn't work that way ever. And the way to then figure out, and the analogy that I used was the, you know, the California gold rush, those people that would like take their little sieves and go in the river and shake around like that. And the stuff would fall out. Uh, the, the, you know, the muck and it would leave you with like the rocks and you'd pick through the rocks and, and find the chunks of gold, right? Well, you do this using automation because you don't want to just stop here and have a big bag of rocks. What you want is you want to get the gold out and then remove the rocks. It's very, it's, it's a wonderful process. And so what ends up happening is as you connect with them, this piece, convert, The conversion happens automatically. So provided you're using automation and staying front of mind with these folks and provided that you have done something that allows you to stand out in the marketplace, people are going to buy your stuff when they like it. And especially, and this is why I recommend maybe reading your book on video or even audio or whatever it is and maybe give them like a chapter or something like that because, you know, if your book's 10 chapters, that's like 10 weeks worth of amazing bonding, engaging content that you can do that's super easy, okay? And it costs you nothing. And yet it's gonna make it's gonna make a world of difference over the course of time. Now this is a process. This is a process that happens very naturally over the course of whatever period of time uh, you set for it. And what I really like seeing are when authors come in with big back catalogs that are not pulling their weight, this is how you make it pull your weight. You expose them to your stuff. And then after they're done, you're done with the automation, now you can tell them about your new books and things like that, and that's completely fine. But this process, when you follow it, is literally magical in helping you build that highly responsive audience. The piece that most authors are missing, because I think everybody knows, go get the email address, right? Yeah, it's all the rest of it. Now, this is where it gets crazy. How do you get the readers? Well, I've mentioned before in a previous, uh, in a previous video, uh, our agency has run over 2,000 ads a day. Uh, managed over a million dollars in Facebook ad spend and delivered over three million subscribers to authors. And it's through this exact thing. 
These are Facebook ads. Facebook ads right here. And so here's a fun little thing. You prob you're probably aware that there is something called a Facebook pixel. Now what this thing does is it sits down here and it's like a little star and it goes bing. So when somebody comes through here, this fires and it says, hey, you just got what's called a lead. That's what every other industry calls a subscriber or a newsletter, whatever, is a lead, okay? And so it tells what I like to call uh, the targeting mechanism I refer to oftentimes as baby Huey, uh, because it's really, I mean, it's smart, but it's still sort of a fat, dumb duck in a diaper. And it does, for the most part, what you tell it to. And so when you, you what you don't want to be doing here are running click ads or boosting posts or anything like that, because it's not going to help you. What you want to be doing at this point is running what's called a conversion ad. And this is why the pixel is so important, because you tell this thing to run this traffic and send you the people that are most likely to become the kind of person that you want them to be, which is a lead, okay? And so you run these things and you're gonna find out throughout this process that there is no correlation at all between a click and a lead. It's crazy. So I know a lot of folks are like, oh, can you get cheap clicks? It's like, I don't care, neither do you, because you don't, you're not, it's the means to the ends. The click doesn't matter. It's how much does it cost to get one of these people? And so we've seen authors who have had brand new ad accounts who have never done this before go from like $4 a subscriber and through testing, we were able to get them below like 35 cents. That is the power of when you know what you're doing with this kind of stuff and you're running the right kind of ads to this. And this is why I wanted to save this last piece for the end because it's usually the most like, what? I didn't even know that was possible. So it's between the, the big missing pieces for most authors are number one, running the correct kind of ads, and number two, automating the connection process and also having it in multiple locations, which is super important. And so it's not doing the autoresponder, it's not delivering the everybody wins prize, it's not running the right kind of advertisement and spending the time to test because ads don't just work. You have to make them work and you have to work them until they work because they're worth it. I think that's from something. I don't know what. Maybe you can remember. So that's what I'm talking about here is you have to run the right kind of Facebook ads to take people to this page to then track the progress of it so you can see that in your ads dashboard and be like, wow, this is working or no, this is not working. Let's run a different set. And so at any what, 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 budget, let's talk budget for a second here. So we have folks who run anywhere from $3 a day up to $100 a day, literally in this specific kind of environment. And as you might imagine, the, the person running $100 a day is going to be able to get those results faster and we can look at those test results over like a 24 hour period and be like, all right, let's flip these out, let's change this, let's tweak this, let's do that. At $3 a day, you wanna have it go for five to seven days before you make any kind of adjustment. It's really important that you allow these things to cook. This is another huge, 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 huge uh, problem inside of the marketplace is that authors are not letting it cook enough. So literally, that, that is what this, this is capture, connect, and convert in an automated way where you can absolutely take these folks, stand up and, and, and stand out in the marketplace and sell more things over the course of time. And then you use that list to then launch your new stuff. So hopefully that's making sense. Um, and once again, if you are interested, in this kind of thing. Uh, my company, this is literally what we've built Author Platform Rocket on doing, is we will, if you would like us to, if this sounds like something that you would like to not do yourself, but you're understanding the importance of it, we can absolutely take care of it for you. We will set up uh, a page. We have our own site where we do this. It's completely dedicated to you. We do all the graphics that are customized uh, directly to you. All of these links that go directly to your social properties, to your Amazon page. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, all of those fun things. We then run the ads in your ad account based on your budget, and we will do all the graphics, all the copy, all the testing, run the entire show from start to finish. We then connect all of this to your autoresponder. So MailerLite, MailChimp, Active Campaign, blah, 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 blah. there's like a billion of them out there. And so if they don't directly connect, we use that Zapier system, and it's really cool. And then what we do is we give you the training uh, so that you can, in your own voice, because you're your own unique author and you need to be in your own voice, we're going to show you how to create 
these automated sequences all the way from how do you communicate, how do you get better open rates, how do you write better subject lines, how do you get build a bigger street team, how do you get more reviews, and then ultimately how do you launch your books. And so we have a 12-part training series of live recordings of webinars that we've done uh, where we teach you exactly how to do that. So it's not just, hey, we're going to get you a bunch of subscribers. We're also going to show you what to do with them once you have them. So you can, we will help you with the capture, and then we will help you with the connect, and we will ultimately help you with the convert. So if you would like to check out that program, you can go to aprultimate.com, and that's going to take you directly there. So once again, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, my name is Johnny Andrews. I will see you very soon. Thank you so much. Have a good day.